In this year motor show, Mitsubishi was making odd decisions and they were good at it. Instead of reviving the legendary Lancer or the Eclipse or other performance sedan car, they only focused on truck and crossover like the world is having enough crossover, why need more? They have a very cool SUV called Bajero Sport and yet they don't bother to display on their stage this year. They have the sedan called Acha or the Mirage G4 as you might know and they just suck. Slow as f The whole car is as interesting as my videos. To avoid boring nights, nice, their lineup, they introduced the brand new Triton, which is, to my opinion, is a very good mid-size pickup truck. It looks good, decent power, 2.4 liter diesel engine, producing 204 horsepower is not that bad, and it drives very well. I test roll the truck in the event and love it. I can feel all the talk when accelerate with a neglectable turbo lag. It is a perfect combination of comfort, practicality and driving experience. I think I'm fair with love with this truck after the test drive. The price is good too, at least in my country. Mm -hmm. High stream model is lower than the Rancher and the Hilux. Then come to their newest crossover, the X-Force. The name sounds like it comes straight out of the Power Ranger movie or something. At first glance, the car looks okay. Then I read the specification. Wrong engine, wrong wheel drive is the only option. 1.5 liter engine producing 104 horsepower paired with a f***ing CVT. Are you f***ing kidding me? The power chain is so unique that I cannot distinguish from other crossover on the market. I test row is an easy as meat as cheap tobacco. But even the cheap tobacco has taste. The car is slow. The CVT transmission don't give me that sporty experience as the car exterior and the engine noise is noise. The x has hard drive mode but with front wheel drive, low power output and a CVT, it is quite useless. But I believe the owner will drive mostly in the city and never go off road with this car. Also, it is cheap too, around 25,000 US dollar, which is acceptable comparing to its competitors. That explains why so many people in my country love this car, because it meets their expectation for an economy small size CUV. Anyway, my summary is Mitsubishi current lineup is quite okay, but I would prefer if they focus more on performance oriented vehicles just like the good old Lancer. Rather than crossover, as I already mentioned, the amount of CUVs on the market right now is absurdly a lot. We don't need more generic crossover with the CVT. At least they got a new chat and ride and I love it. Well, thanks for watching and hope to see you guys in the next video.